After the asteroid, the trouble is still not over. We are having acid raining, temperatures are high, but slowly things will move. If you enjoy watching new stories, enjoy watching new facts, then start now by subscribing to this channel and press the bell icon. The world I am breathing in is 26% of oxygen and having temperatures of 25 to 26 degrees Celsius, which is pretty hot. Within ferns, leafy trees and flowers roamed few of my herbivore friends, Pantondas, Ocepia. But this world has scary survivors like Boreolosuchus and later Anthracosuchus, big crocodiles roaming around. Joining the party is bear like Anclogon and Synonyx. Oh god, this temperature is always rising. And have I told you about the biggest killer lurking in our rainforests? No, right? This time we are talking about a 12 meter long snake, Titanoboa. The other day I saw him engulfing the Anthroco crocodile, which instilled the fear deep. Need to be careful from this stealth monster. We are going for an adventure to far South America, much farther now and joining another landmass known as North America. On our journey, we are meeting Pelicaniformes, a big seabird, actually one of the largest lurking here right after the asteroid. Let's dive deep and see we are dealing here in the sea. To start off is a seabird with wingspan of 5 to 6 meter Pella Gornitidae. But he also is afraid and technically everyone is afraid of the king, more precisely queen of the sea, a mackerel shark of size equaling Titanoboa, but with sharp teeth and termed as ancestors of one of the biggest sharks. Name is Autodus. So our journey would be long this time, but hopefully we would be safe. There we are in the land of apex predator of South America. Bizarre thing here is that this part is ruled by a bird called terror bird. But don't underestimate, he's three times taller than you guys and twice my size. Another bird which was previously thought to be a predator actually is a herbivore, two meter long Gastornis. Going back would be a challenge facing sharks and recently whales have also joined the party with teeth having size almost twice as those sharks. Odontocetes range from my size to 20 meters with sharp teeth. However, ancestors of dolphins and other whales are amphibians with four legs, Pachyectus, and that also on a land which is closing Thetis Sea. And by the time we are there, a mountain range named Himalayas is rising, which is the highest range. There are these small animals lurking with humps on their back, known as chameleids. They are not the only ones there, but there are others like Astropotheria is having shape like rhino, having canines like elephant, tusk and moritherium, semi aquatic animal 2 meter high, looks like someone you might be familiar of. Then there are primates, my old friends evolved living on trees and will eventually become the most destructive species on this planet. In the sea there is another kind of whale which does not have teeth but a filter feeder. It is the baleen whale eats small fish. Towards the end, we have this small yet dangerous felite, Proelierus, which is another familiar animal. Not only this, Gustafronia is a family of bear dog as it climbs the tree and probably the far ancestor of this family, Caniformia. Well, there is a quiet ending of this chapter and frankly this is the first time in this series we are not having an extinction. I will meet you on the other side with the story of Neocene. Until then, enjoy watching the playlist on evolution of life on earth. If you enjoyed watching this video, then like this video, share this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Until next time, peace.